What's going on, everybody? Seth Miranda. I'm Dave Bresca. This is Adorama Rewind. Let's just get into this. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we're still using this background, so get used to it. We're getting a lot of use out of it. Yeah, I, I like it. I think, um, you know, it's, it's an interesting background, and uh, even though it's set up more of a temporary situation here, mostly because of the boxes on the ground. Yeah, we're still, still unpacking from Inspire. From Inspire so, uh, um, you may see a more permanent fixture of this somewhere, somewhere. in the building. It was done by uh, Bishop from Lowbrow NYC right here in New York. So um, thank you to everyone who came out to Inspire to watch this happen live. But just to let you guys know, it was a super light news week. Yeah, like, yeah. So we're, we're just going to give a little brush over. Uh, apparently a Turkish wedding photographer assaulted a client after learning that the bride was only 15 years old. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> the the more of the morals the legalities everything twisted up um you guys can check it out everyone's been covering it so we're not going to go too deep into it uh and we're also not going to go too deep into these canon rumors we're hearing yeah yeah i'm not too big on on camera rumors mm -hmm. and uh canon mirrorless camera look we all know mirrorless is it's coming cool. So yeah. rumors are rumors. It's cool the dialogue that gets started up about what could happen, but in the end, I think it's kind of pointless. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, you guys can find out. But one that's really cool we found on the Photo Brigade Facebook. Right, Apparently, right. uh, wet plate collodion uh, was found not to pick up blue and greenish uh, colors. So a photographer has been shooting uh, Maori tribe people, and their tattoos on their face have been disappearing in the wet plate. It's kind of like when you're dealing with film, how, how every layer reacts to different colors yeah. differently and stuff, and, and different wavelengths of, of light. Uh, and so it's interesting to see that, oh, it's these particular Yeah, well, emulsion layers actually are like RGB almost. Like yeah, it's yeah. kind of how emulsion breakdown works. So I guess that in the translation of the wavelength of color from the light, you just don't see these colors show up. And those tribal tattoos tend to be bluish green and they just go away. Check out the link. Look at, I mean, it's just cool. I mean, people would just yeah. think it's a Photoshop project if they didn't read about it. Yeah. All right, and uh, so that's pretty much what we're going on for news. Let's go into our own channel because a lot of cool stuff has been happening. Yeah, um, so a couple of, of popular videos that I want to kind of point out. Um, you've got Gavin Hoey did, yeah. did a video on uh, using bed sheets as a background for which, photography. Which we've all done, but it's someone finally formalized it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, this is the thing that a lot of us has done. I feel like this is the kind of thing that uh, in the age of ever reducing prices on backdrops and camera equipment, some some uh, beginner photographers might not even think to, to do this. Oh, yeah. So, and, and I think that his idea of using a duvet specifically, right. where you can actually put a rod or a piece of wood at the bottom of it and snap it back closed, great. Yeah, like, it's elevating the simple idea. Um, it's just kind of funny because I think a lot of backdrop companies have been mimicking sheet and wallpaper designs. And yeah. when people forever, we were using wallpaper and bed sheets. So, yeah. And then uh, using a gel to get the colors. And yeah. Stuff. So it's, it's, it's cool. And it's even good just to know how to work with a background period as far as lighting goes. Yeah. So he explains a lot of things like that. Forget about the bed sheet part, just that aspect of it's great. Yeah. And then kind of similar to that, um, Daniel Norton yeah. did uh, a video on recreating nighttime, like the nighttime look during the day. So kind of a day for night. Day for night, yeah. So um, I'm a big fan of CTO swaps. And yeah. uh, this is definitely showing you the refinement of it because I think people just slap it on and hope for a white balance on it. But he's, he shows you how to really calibrate it down. Yeah, yeah. And again, he's not necessarily trying to exactly replicate nighttime, but rather the feel, feel of nighttime. Of it, right. So like uh, you look at it and go, oh, okay, it feels like it's a nighttime shot, even well, though it's not. That's true, but he also throws in elements to go, well, what else would happen at night? Yeah. What would the inside light look like? Right, you, you know? have your lights on inside, then, yeah. so there's going to be that kind of warmth. Great it's video. Um, and I just want to thank all you guys for the engagement on the last week's post, because right. we had a great discussion, and that's the only way this stuff's going to get more uh, engaging or worthwhile for you. So write us, write some stuff in the comments. I think we tried yeah. to keep up as much as we could on responding. All the hosts have been responding. I mean, we sparked a lot. The internet fair, internet fair use was a pretty big deal. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Um, so kind of jumping to another topic here um, within Aroma TV, we do have another new show. It's, oh, right. it's like, what, three weeks in a row just about of new shows. There's more coming, by the way. Uh, this new show is uh, from Where I Drone with yeah. Dirk Dallas. Super nice guy, by the way. Yes, yeah, amazing, Unreal. amazing guy. And his his show is all about drones. He just didn't unpack right? Them. Yeah. So this particular video, this first one, is uh, an unboxing of the Mavic Air. Mavic Air, which uh, is a, a very 
talked about drone at yeah, the moment. Yeah, I feel so. like drones are still this like, people aren't sure kind of thing. They hear about it, they see the videos. Here in New York, it's kind of rough because we have such limited space to use a drone. So I guess this is kind of a way to really get your mind into what people even think about when using drones. Yeah, yeah. look forward to, the, to this series. Yeah. Uh, I, I've, I get the, the sneak peeks, we'll say, yeah. <laughs> advance. Uh, so upcoming episodes are, are phenomenal and you won't be disappointed if you're into drones, especially. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff happening on the channel. A lot of new things coming out. Um, yeah, keep looking at the channel. There's going to be several new shows coming out in the, the next couple of weeks as well. So Yeah, it's awesome. And if you're not tired of all that, <laughs> you can go on IGTV, the Instagram channel. Mm -hmm. um, just go to at, at Adorama on IG. Go to the highlights section of the story, and the first one will be Instagram TV. And you uh, yesterday did a, yeah. did a video on that uh, where you're using the Glow... 31-inch lantern, yeah. which is awesome. Um, I, I love like lanterns. I like that you can move the deflector the flake focusing. in and out. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if they meant to do that on purpose, but it does that, and you it, can... You if can... you guys don't know what we're talking about... <laughs> Watch the video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there'll be an article up soon. But uh, for those of you here in New York, guess what's back? The Adorama Critique. Yes, yes. Which has been a pretty strong favorite of people. We just haven't had the ability to constantly do it. Took a couple months off. Uh, so for those who don't know, go to adorama.com slash events. Go to July 24th, I believe, and you can see the uh, description. It'll tell you exactly what to do. You can submit images. Me and Daniel Norton will be here. We talk about it. Dave gets in the audience and heckles us. It's you, a have good time. To, you have to be here to participate. Right. If, if you're not here when, when... We don't talk about it. Yeah. It's, it's that simple. So, um, but if you are one of the regulars who does come to the critique, it's back. I'm, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really fun one. It's very chill. No recordings. Nobody knows what's happening here. Yeah. It's, a, it's adult swim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually it, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it was a quick week, kids. Small, small video t this week. Uh, I, I would like to actually open up the question to you guys. If there's anything in the photo, video, or audio industries, uh, music in included. Yeah, gaming. Any, any gaming, I mean, yeah. any, any big news you guys want us to talk about, let us know. If there's yeah. subjects that you think that we should talk about on this show, let us know in the comments in this video, and we'll definitely I'll be I'll tell you what, that. even if you have news sources that you think are like underrated and aren't getting, because we did the moon one, and we didn't, no one ever heard of this website, and it's been full of great information, so. Yeah, yeah, um, if you liked space stuff, that website was amazing. Oh my God. So if you think we're missing something, Throw it. Let's do this, all right? Um, but for now, I guess we're out, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys, so uh, hit this stuff. The like, subscribe, bell, <laughs> leave a comment. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love this, like, charades we play. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, we, we've, been, we've been getting more... We're not dressing the same anymore. It's like, it's all right. We've been coordinating. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're almost on the ball, kids, I promise yeah. you. But <laughs> thank you for participating. This cannot be happening without you guys engaging. So thank you so much, and we'll talk to you in the comments. Yeah. Later. We'll see you next week.